Hi guys, this is Rick with Two Brothers Outdoors. And uh, a couple weeks ago I killed my chainsaw, dropped a tree on it, pinched it actually, and then before I could get the motor undone from the bar, the tree twisted around from the wind and fell on my saw. And it killed it. Dead. But it was a 2001 saw. It was a uh, Poland Pro 42cc. I got a lot of use out of it. Some abuse. Uh, it was a pretty good saw. I can't complain. So, after I killed it, I got online, started looking at reviews, and there's a new chainsaw on the market. So I ordered one. It was reasonable. It's 60cc, 18 inch bar. So it ought to be plenty powerful enough. And uh, we're going to unbox it. It finally got here. And give her a rip. Okay, so this is the box it came in. It's a Hoyason or Hyason 6020E Professional. Like I said, it's 60cc, 18 inch bar, which is going to be plenty long enough for what we need to do. So it ought to have plenty of power. We're hoping anyway. I'm hoping anyway. Tim's got a still. This saw. Uh, almost broke the bank it was hundred thirty nine dollars that included shipping don't even, don't expect much from hundred thirty nine but I got high hopes alright guys let's see what it looks like okay so I already assembled the saw comes with a mixing bottle very clear instructions on how to start how to assemble and the book Pretty neat little tool bag right there. Comes with a file, which I'm not real impressed with. Screwdriver to adjust the carburetor, and it's got adjustable oil flow. Automatic oiler, but you can adjust the oil light or heavy. Allen wrench, another Allen wrench, spark plug, and the bar, uh, the bar cover wrench. Now it came chain came in this plastic bag nice and heavy this plastic washer was on the saw you had to assemble the saw you had to put the, the bar and the chain on and the log dog but um, that washer right there was was on one of the studs I think the only purpose of that washer was to to hold the cover out away from the saw it's just like a shipping thing the instructions don't say anything about it so I just took it off Everything went together nice. So we're going to gas it up, run a little bit, and I got a nice pile of wood that I'm going to try it on. Okay, so filled it with gas and oil. It's got quite a large oil reserve in it. Not bad at all. And uh, gas seems to be pretty good size too. First impressions of the saw. The saw is nice and heavy. A lot of metal on it, not just plastic. Um, it's got the, the 72 DL chain. It's a, it's a pretty heavy chain. It's not a, a small tooth chain like you find on the, the smaller saws. All right. As you can see, it's 60 cc. We're going to start this puppy up and see what it acts like. Try to get oil pumping through it first. 
got quite a bit of torque. It even sounds good. Got a comfortable handle on it. Aluminum. No anti-vibration mechanisms in it, but you know what? If it cuts good, I don't care. All right, we finally got oil going through. Oil is working. Let it run a little bit, and we're gonna go cut some wood. Okay, I already tested the chain brake on it, so we're gonna give it a rip. Everything seems to be working properly. That's a cutter. Boy, she's got plenty of power. We'll see how it holds up over the course of the next couple months. But right now, I am very happy with it. That's hard maple. And it's dried hard maple. It's not that's seasoned. Cut right through that, no problem. Alright guys. We'll put it to the test in a tree tomorrow. Thanks for watching.